AJ Dillon didn't have the sexiest performance in week 11, but he still kind of got the job done, scoring 15.7 PPR fancy points. Rushed for 53 yards, caught six balls for 44 yards. He was used heavily in the passing game, and I gathered some of his clips from week 11, and we're going to go over those right All right, here's the first play we're going to cover. It's first quarter, eight minutes to go. We're tied at three. But before we run it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps fuel the channel. But let's run it, baby. So AJ Dillon's in the backfield and single back. Gets a little fake handoff here. Rodgers is stepping back. And now he's going to be hanging out here in the flat. Rodgers flicks it to him. Look at him extend out to make the grab. Brings it into his body. Off kilter a little bit. So he's got to regather his momentum. We got 54 breathing down his neck. What does he do? Hits him with the stiff arm. Spins off of it. Breaks free. And is able to rush forward. So what are we gathering from this play? What are we learning from him? Why did Bruce choose this play? Nothing really special. Gets the fake handoff. It's just showing you that he's getting used in the passing game. He's getting those easy check downs in the flat. He's extending out for the ball, making the catch. He's got some hands here. And then what I like here is him getting physical right there. Dropping that stiff arm. Spinning out. Fighting for an extra like three yards or so. Good play there by Aaron Dillon. Here's the first play we want to cover. Minute 22 left in the first quarter. Scores 9-3 Vikings. Shotgun. Dylan's in the backfield. Let's run it right now. So here we go. Rogers steps back. Dylan's hanging out in the flat. Gets another check down. Check down city in this game for Dylan. Catches it. He's got space. He's going to take advantage of that. Whoop. Gets tackled. Gets grabbed up on the leg. But again, this is how he's being implemented in the passing game. Just getting those easy check downs. Taking advantage of that yardage. Or at least should be. In this play, unfortunately, gets ankle locked and gets dropped down. But since the, they are willing to use him in the passing game like this, this just racks up those fantasy points. This allowed him to hit 15 fantasy points this week. And that's what we like to see with our running backs. Here's our next play. We're in the third quarter. 23-10 Vikings. Single back formation. And A.J. Dillon's back there. Before we do, make sure you tap that like button. Help me out on that algorithm. But go, let's go ahead and run this guy. Dylan gets the handoff. Following 81 on the block. He's just following his blocker here to the outside. Let's see what he does. He follows his momentum there. Hits that crease. We got, was that Harrison Smith trying to make the tackle on him? Boom, hits him with a little tapper there. Gets past it a little bit. He's hanging on to his ankle. Eventually, he's going down, though. Let's take this back from the beginning. Gets the handoff, and really, he's just following 81. He's following his pull block. Following it to the path. Bam. Sees 81. About to engage on a block here. Kicks it up here where you got a little crease, which is what he does. And then here, bam. Tries to get the stiff arm, doesn't work, gets wrapped up on the ankle, and then eventually everyone else comes in and gets him swarmed. Decent run there by A.J. Dell. We're now in the fourth quarter. Scores 23-17. We're in an offset eye formation, something you don't see every day. Let's go ahead and run this play. So here he gets the handoff following his blocks. Looks like we got a little stumbling going on here so he's got a couple choices he can kick this outside he has the opportunity to kick it outside and he's got to crease up the middle looks like he's going to try to go up the middle right up here it's kind of tight and he's actually going up the middle and veering right a little bit we got a linebacker coming out he gets tackled let's look at what he had here I think the better move here would have been to kick it out. There's too much trash here in the middle. And you got a crease here. The crease to the left. 
appears to be the better move. I mean, you, you're worried about those guys peeling off the block, but you got, I think, 54 here in the middle. No one's blocking him. You're just kind of running towards this crease where 54 is free to, to clamp up on you. When you cut it up this middle crease, you still got hats on those guys. You might be able to get through there. When you kick it outside down to the bottom here, you you play the leverage of your defenders. You got 21 in front of you. You're going to have to make him miss, but uh, you got more upside there. You also got 59 there. He could cut you off, but really, with your size adjusted speed, you should be able to beat that. I don't think this is the best choice that you could have made here. Because one, you should have been able to see that linebacker that was there that was free. And two, you have two other lanes to choose from. Technically three. You got that one lane on the outside there. You got all the way outside. And then you got the lane to the right of your two blockers. So out of the four lanes, you got one, two, three, four lanes. You got the outside, the one next one, the one right up the gut, and the one up top there. You chose, I think, the worst one possible. So I don't like that. However, you still was able to net a gain. And one reason why, the positives of this play, you keep low, push forward, and you're strong as hell. It allowed you to get a good gain on that nonetheless. So I guess it doesn't matter, except for you might not have been able to hit your upside here. Because you might have been able to blast for more yards than one of the other choices. Let me know in the comments what you think. Am I thinking correctly here? Or... It, did he make the right move? I don't think it's the wrong move, but I think there could have been better options. That's all I got today on AJ Dillon. A few things I've learned about him from doing a couple film studies now. One, he's decent in the passing game, especially catching checkdowns in the flat. He's got that burst, that size adjusted speed that makes him dangerous. Two, another thing is that he delivers the boom at the point of contact. He can push down bodies. He gets you that yard or two or an extra few yards just falling forward, which is always good to see. He's very aggressive. I have some issues with him. Um, I wish he had a little bit more burst. I, I do wish he had a little bit more long speed. I wish he was a little bit more decisive during his approach to the line of scrimmage. There are times where he is a decisive, and there are times where there's a hiccup, and you can see it with his feet, a little bit extra pitter-patter, but more times than not, he gets the job done. He is a good back. Is he elite-level talent? No. Is he good enough to get the job done? And a little more, yes. Is he good enough to help your fantasy teams out? Yes. So A.J. Dillon's a decent back to have in and off facets fantasy and real football but i want to thank you for watching the show sticking with me hit that subscribe button on the way out every subscription matters fuels me to keep putting out this content fuels me to keep going over the film with you guys and helping you guys out with your fantasy teams and everything else again i want to thank you i'll catch you next time